Hello and welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to show how to use the gamma distribution to solve problems and we're going to do it in Excel. Let's take a look at our Excel spreadsheet right now. This is Excel 2003. We'd like to remove the grid lines to make the spreadsheet more readable. Hit Tools, then Options, then uncheck the checkbox next to grid lines. Hit OK. Grid lines are gone. Now the gamma distribution is used to calculate that the probability of wait time between Poisson distributed events is time t. It's used for queuing models such as manufacturing processes and other disciplines such as climatology and finance. And the Excel formula requires four different parameters. Let's take a look at a typical problem that uses the gamma distribution and can be solved in Excel. A typical problem might read as follows. Calculate the probability of a Poisson distributed event occurring before time t equals 10 if the gamma distribution function alpha equals 2 and beta equals 4. Now Excel requires four different parameters. The formula is gamma, the parameters are x, alpha, beta, and cumulative. Now, the first parameter, x, the value to be evaluated, well the problem says calculate the probability that the event occurs before time t equals 10. x equals 10. And our second parameter is alpha. It has to be non-negative, non must be positive. And in the problem, we've set alpha to equal 2. Our third parameter is beta. That's sometimes called theta. Excel calls it beta. So we use beta. And we've set beta to equal 4. And the fourth final parameter is whether or not we're using the cumulative distribution function. And the problem states, calculate the probability of the event occurring before time t equals 10. That would indicate the cumulative distribution function is being used. That's cumulative equals true. So putting all of those parameters into the Excel formula, we get an answer that there's a 71% chance that the event will occur before time t. And looking at our interactive Excel chart, putting the cursor right on the chart above time t equals 10, we see that that value agrees with the value we've calculated in our formula. This is an interactive chart we've created in Excel. Let's vary the parameters and watch the changes reflected in the chart. And we'll give you instructions how to purchase a manual to do all of these things and create this chart at the end of this video. So we're just changing the parameters around and watching the changes reflected in the chart. And changing our alpha, beta, theta back to the original numbers, and there we have it. If you would like to master MBA level statistics in Excel, check out our Excel Statistical Master series of emanuals at www.excelmasterseries.com slash emanual.php. Thank you very much and goodbye.